Thank you, Kim. Um, just going to go through some procedural issues on voting before we, we actually undertake a test vote. Uh, each council member has a voting pad. Each one has a unique number that is registered to you. And uh, there are 41 voting pads. As we don't have Scott Perry here today, there are 41 active voting pads. Please make sure you do not take the voting pad outside of this room. Leave it at the table at your, at your place so they can be uh, checked during the coffee break and lunch break, please. We're going to move to a test vote, and on the pad, there are three buttons. It's very straightforward. One for yes, two for no, and three for abstain. So one for yes, two for no, and three for abstain. So can we move forward to a test vote, please? So here is the uh, question. There are roughly 1.25 million alligators in Florida. The, the vote is now open. Please go ahead and place your vote. One for yes, two for no, and three for abstain. Don't know. A few more to come. Please just check you've pressed. Has everybody placed their vote? Mm. Okay, we're going to have to check uh, those voting pads that are not registering. Can I just ask the team, we'll have to hold on for a, for a couple of minutes just while we check those specific voting pads which are not registering? Can I ask the team to just do that, please? Please just bear with us while we do this. It's really important that they are uh, all registering. you to reconfirm your vote. Just push push your vote buttons again. Could you push it? It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> Important subject. Okay, so we have one voting pad which is not operating properly. No. Okay, thank you. We now have 41 uh, votes registering. I think just can we can we re can we redo the test vote again, please, just so we can be completely sure. Don't vote yet, please. The vote is not open. Can you re-clear the? 
re clear the question? Are we ready to reopen the vote? Okay. Hang on one second. And just to be clear, the, there are 41 voting pads. There are two spare pads which we hold, hence why it says 40 for E. But there are 41. Okay. Please go ahead and vote. Exactly. <laughs> so you can repeat your answer. <laughs> Everyone, please go ahead and and place their votes. There's a, a, quite a lot of people that haven't done so. Push it again if you are unsure whether you've done so. Your votes have not registered. There are still people whose voting pads were working last time that cannot have pushed pushed the button. Still three more. Please, please, can you each make sure you've done so? Coming up, one more please. There's still somebody who's not confirmed their vote. Can we identify that voting pad? Thank you. We have 41 votes. And uh, I'd like to close the vote, please, and can we see the results? There we go. We, uh, <laughs> actually, it's not passed. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But, Andy, how are we doing it when we are voting? Because we cannot sit here and wait till we find out. So we have a full view of who is voting and, and who, which pad is Okay, thank you. I think I hand over to you, John. Good morning, Mr. President. The first submission is 03718, the urgent submission from the Board concerning the mixed two person keelboat offshore event. Council will note there are two proposals in the submission. The first proposal, which following the debate with the first vote, requires 75% of votes cast for and against. In order to pass, abstentions do not count in the calculation of the 75% majority. Uh, if the 75% vote passes on Proposal 1, then there will be a vote on Proposal 2. But I understand the intention is to have the general debate first. The reporting committee for the submission is the Events Committee. And Sarah, could you give the committee's recommendation to the Council, please? Thank you. Thank you. And now I would like to move to the vote. So just to repeat what I said, and I will say it slowly, uh, taking on board my good friend Sophie's comments, there will be uh, potentially two votes. The first vote is on Proposal 1, which is to the 75% vote to uh, agree to make the change out of time. If we obtain more than 75%, then we will have to vote, I suspect, then shortly on Proposal 2. The 75% is the fors and against, so the abstains do not count uh, in the calculation, nor do if you don't press your button. And as a reminder, 
uh, please press the button very hard. That's where we're finding that the votes don't register. So please press your button hard. If there's no questions on the procedure, then I suggest that we open the vote, please. So press one to approve, two to reject, and three to abstain on proposal one. Press again, please. It reconfirms your vote, so you can press as many times as you want. Two more, please. I'm just going to check the ones that aren't registering. One more. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's 41. Thank you. You can close the vote, please. So that is 75%, 31 is 75%, I think. Yes, that's 79%. So proposal one is approved. Therefore, there will now be a vote on proposal two to change uh, the mixed one-person dinghy to the mixed two-person keelboat offshore. Please go ahead. Okay, then the vote is on proposal two to make the change. This is a simple majority vote. So 50% plus one, please. If we can open the vote. I'm good at your friend here, trying to. <laughs> Three more, please. I don't know how much harder I could push the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close it. You don't want her coming around. <laughs> I think we close the vote here. Close it, please. So that's approved. Thank you. Thank you, Council Members. And now I think we deserve a coffee break. So I'll ask you to break till half, and then we have a short session until we go break for lunch. So please be back here at half past 12. Thank you.